Hello and welcome to the program Sula's Big Adventures with me Sula. In this episode I'm going to review the Teleview Bandmate Nebustar filter. The Teleview Bandmate is a broadband filter that's a general use filter for any size telescope. It's made by Astronomic for Teleview with material sourced in Germany but the filters are tested by both Teleview and Astronomic to meet all of Teleview's specifications. This telescope filter is one and a quarter inches and it's a type of UHC or ultra high contrast filter that's meant to provide high contrast to assist observational astronomers in seeing faint emission nebulae. According to Teleview, the bandmate UHC filter differs from typical UHC filters in that it blocks red wavelengths normally passed by typical UHC filters and according to Teleview this eliminates star bloat and produces sharper more natural looking stars along with enhanced nebulosity. The way a nebula filter works is that they only pass a narrow band of wavelengths around the hydrogen alpha, hydrogen beta, and oxygen 3 lines that nebulae strongly emit. These molecules are typically ionized and lit up by nearby stars in the case of emission nebulae, causing them to glow with these very specific colors. So the filter only passes the light at the wavelengths around those specific colors. The bandmate filter allows in light from about 475 nanometers to 525 nanometers. And because the bandmate and all UHC filters only allow a narrow band of light, they significantly darken the background to provide better contrast when viewing faint emission nebulae and planetary nebulae, although O3 filters generally work better on planetary nebulae. And a UHC could work on very faint nebulae like the Horsehead Nebula, but that particular nebula is much easier to see with an H-beta filter, the narrowest of the narrow band filters. And you can see my video on nebula filters in general to find out which ones are best for various objects. But the Teleview Bandmate Nebustar Type 2 filter is a UHC filter. So I'm going to test this filter out. I tested it a little bit on a 15 inch Dobsonian from a Bortle 3 site. But I'd like to test it some more in a side by side comparison with a couple of other filters I have. This one sadly is no longer manufactured. This is the UHC filter made by Orion called the Ultrablock. And I have another cheap UHC filter made by Astromania. And I'm going to take the Nebustar and these two filters out with my 10 inch Dobsonian and test out the Teleview Bandmate. And after my testing, I'll come back with my final conclusions about it. Hello again. I'm in a Bortle 4 in Northern California with my 10 inch Dobsonian. I have a 24 millimeter eyepiece in. And I looked at M42, the Great Orion Nebula, with no filter, and it looked good. And then now I have the Teleview Bandmate filter in there, and the stars are not bloated, but they're blue. <laughs> and I don't mean blue as in a blue star, there's some weird blue. <laughs> but it looks pretty good. It definitely enhanced the nebulosity. Now I want to compare it with the Ultrablock and the cheap <laughs> filter from Astromania. Be right back. Now I have the Ultrablock in and <laughs> the stars in the trapezium were also blue and the Ultrablock increased the nebulosity. I went back and forth. I'm not seeing much. I, I don't see any difference between the Teleview Bandmate and the Orion Ultra Block. Now I'm going to put in the <laughs> Astromania UHC. <laughs> I don't know why 
the stars are red with the astromania. It enhanced the nebulosity. I'm going to go back and forth a little more. I, I think maybe the ultra block and the bandmate are a little better on enhancing the nebulosity than the astromania. I'm going to turn off this light and study it a little bit more and try to go back and forth to be sure. Beautiful. Okay, this time I have my 10 millimeter ethos in. So that's 120 times magnification with the bandmate. It looks really good. <laughs> the, the blue, now they're green stars are a little distracting because I just don't like false colors, but I'm trying to overlook that and see how much it enhanced the nebulosity. Let me go to a, a different nebula. Now I'm looking at something incredibly difficult. I see 2177, the Seagull Nebula in Monoceros, and I can see nebulosity in it. This is a very difficult nebula, and it's huge, so I went back to 24 millimeters as 50 times magnification with the bandmate. I can see some nebulosity, pretty neat. Wow, very cool, very cool. Now I'm looking at the Rosette Nebula, NGC 2244 with the bandmate filter. It looks really good, really good. This nebula is also gigantic, so you have to wander around the star cluster in the middle of it. Very cool. Very cool. Ooh la la. Nice. Very nice. Now I'm looking at the ultra block. It looks very good. I'm not seeing much difference between the ultra block and the bandmate. Now I'll try out the Astromania and see how it does on the Rosette Nebula. It looks really good. Really nice. Very, very nice. Get out of here. Okay. I think I see what they mean about sharper. I can see the nebulosity, but I think the other two were a little sharper than the astromania. Well, I can still see nebulosity. It's a very cool object, by the way. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of more. Now I'm looking at the Clown Face Nebula, NGC 2392. It's a planetary nebula in Gemini, and really an O3 probably would work better, but it looks pretty nice with this UHC filter. Very nice. And you want to increase your magnification with planetary nebula. I was looking with this at 50 times with the Astromania. Now I'm looking with the bandmate at 120 times and it looks really good. Really nice. And another thing, I really like how smooth the filter screws in. Teleview tried to be very precise on the threading, which is nice because some of them are hard to thread on, but not this one. This is a very nice filter. So far, I give it an A+. Plus. Neat. Very neat. It looks very, very cool. I like it. Very cool. I'm very happy with this filter. It's nice. Okay, I'm done with my testing. Before I go off into space to explore the final frontier without a camera, and I do apologize for not putting my star sense in night mode. I kept thinking, that thing's so bright. The Teleview Bandmate Nebustar Type 2 filter is an excellent filter. I was very impressed with it. It performed very well. It was very easy to put it into the eyepiece. It screwed in nicely, and it showed the nebulosity well and all the things I looked at, including the planetary nebula. And it 
was sharper on the stars. <laughs> I did not like the blue stars, but what are you going to do? That's just a part of nebula filters. But it was nice and sharp, showed a lot of nebulosity, and I like it a lot. The other two filters were okay. The Astromania was okay. And the Ultra Block is an excellent filter, but it's not, not no longer manufactured. It's not available. But I'll be back when I get home and give my final statement, and I'll see you then. Well, I've finished my testing of the Teleview Bandmate Nebustar Type 2 filter, and I was very impressed with it. I thought it performed very well. It provided excellent contrast and allowed me to see the things that I looked at very well. I thought that uh, it did provide <laughs> sharper stars um, that weren't bloated, like they said, and next to the Astromania, it, it did a little better, I felt, and next to the Ultra Block, they were about even, but since the Ultra Block is not available, <laughs> then I think Getting the Teleview Bandmate would be a good choice if you're in the market for a UHC filter. It's an excellent filter and I highly recommend it. So that's it for now. I'll see y'all soon. Till then, get outside and enjoy the night sky. Dark skies forever. Sula, signing off.